This is the X Factor presented by Xfinity Week 10 edition alongside TJ Lang. I'm Danny Rogers. Lions are coming off of a nice bye week. They're all rested, reset, and so we're getting into our X Factors against Pittsburgh Steelers. They are on the clock. Mike Tomlin's team. TJ, who do you got for X Factors for Lions and then for Steelers? Yeah, well, Pittsburgh, we're going to go with the big boy, the running back, Najee Harris. Uh, we got a chance to watch him Monday night against the Bears. Um, his stats don't really blow you away when you look at him on paper. He's averaging about three and a half a carry. Um, but he is a tank. I mean, 6'1", 240, he's hard to bring down. And when you take a look at his touchdown run from mon Monday night, I mean, he's just it's just a simple inside zone. Uh, gets the ball, gets his second level, number six. He's got no chance to make this play. Mm -hmm. The stiff arm gets up to the second level, 36. Nope, no chance to make a play, and it's a walk-in touchdown. I mean, he's not an explosive type guy where he's going to burn you for 70 or 80 yard runs. I mean, I think his longest on the season is maybe a 20 yarder, but he's tough to tackle, especially when he gets uh, to the second level. Anytime there's a linebacker or safety on him, uh, he makes those guys miss a lot and he's big boy. Uh, but another impressive thing about his game is what he brings as a receiver. I think he's the uh, second leading receiver on their team catch wise with 40 on the season. Uh, and a couple touchdowns as well. But it's the same thing. I mean, just a little quick check down, makes a couple guys miss, gets up to the second level, it's second and long, goes for a 20-yard-plus gain. And uh, he, he's just – he's fun to watch. He's an energetic guy, kind of reminds me a little bit of Jamal Williams when you see the energy that he brings for their team. Uh, but just the, the effort that he has, just not – it's hard to bring him down with one guy. You can bet that Pittsburgh is watching – what Philadelphia did against this Lions defense. We're running the ball over 200 yards against this defense. I know these guys took it personal. They had to sit on it for a couple weeks uh, with that Philly uh, tape. I know they did a little burial ceremony <laughs> earlier in the week, uh, but you can guarantee Pittsburgh's watching that. They're, they're coming off of a, a short week Monday night game against a tough defense in Chicago. Um, but if you're the Detroit Lions, you've got to find a way to stop number 22, uh, make Ben beat you with his arm. Um, He's still a good quarterback. He's not what he once was, but you got to fix the run game, and, and it starts with Najee Harris. Sure thing. All right, Lions, X-Factor. Who needs to step up? Lions still looking for, of course, their first win of the season. Yeah, it's Jared Goff, and uh, he's done some nice things uh, throughout the last couple weeks especially. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what changes they make, make uh, made over the bye week. I know uh, the bye week is a time to do a whole lot of self-scouting, see what's working for you, see what's not working for you. Um, uh, but this play right here, I, 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 know it was, I think it was the second play of the game against Philadelphia. Uh, just the timing that he has on the throw, the footwork that he uses, everything is, is almost perfect, right? It's going to be a nice throw right down the seam to TJ Hawkinson. Maybe he wanted to get that ball out of his hands a little bit sooner, but this, these are the plays that we just haven't seen consistently enough uh, from this offense is getting the ball downfield. And obviously everybody knows Hawkinson – is uh, the leading receiver on this team, so guys pay a lot of attention to him. But Jared Goff, um, you can see the improvements that he's making week to week. And when you get a bye week like this, obviously nobody's happy that they're 0-8, but he's the leader of this team. He's the leader of that offense. If he comes out and responds and starts playing with a little bit more fire, a little bit more attitude, that's going to wear off on the rest of the team. And it's really up to him, not to put too much pressure on him individually, but it's up to him to really get this offense going a little bit. They haven't scored more than 19 points in a game since week one. It's going to be a tough challenge against Pittsburgh, especially when you get down to the red zone. Um, they're one of the best defenses in the league when it comes to trying <laughs> preventing touchdowns for the opposing team. So it's going to be a challenge. But uh, for Jared Goff, I want to see him throw the ball downfield a little bit more, give the receivers a little bit more chances to make those 50-50 catches uh, when you get the one-on-one -on -one coverage. And that's really, in my mind, if this offense wants to get rolling, they want to start scoring some points, they've got to get the passing game going downfield. Mm -hmm. Head coach Dan Campbell was asked what he's liked about Jared Goff so far these past two months of, of playing here in Detroit. He says he likes his communication, he likes how he's been able to digest the playbook, and he knows he's capable of making those explosive plays. Yeah. Coach says they have to get him into a rhythm, though. So how do they do that against Pittsburgh? Well, you have to play complementary football. I know that this team and Coach Campbell obviously take a lot of pride in running the ball. Uh, but when you're losing by two scores, three scores, you, you, you're not going to find your way back in the football game uh, by continuing to run the ball. So it starts uh, really defensively, doing a good job of keeping them in the game so they can keep the playbook open. Um, but it really comes down to when you get the chances 
to hit these plays, you got to hit them. And we've just seen too many times uh, where a guy might have one-on-one -on -one coverage, might have a step on the defender, and the ball maybe just gets overthrown a little bit or, or thrown just a little bit wide out of bounds. So, um, and it's it's I mean it's this it's this big of, of a difference right now when you talk about <laughs> the mistakes that they're that they've made in the past. Hopefully that uh, they've gotten a lot of it fixed during the bye week. Um, I know. A lot of those guys were still around, still working, trying to find a way to figure this out. But uh, they just I, it, it'd be nice to see them play one complimentary game of football where uh, the offense is playing well, defense is playing well, and the special teams is playing well. And that way you can leave the playbook open all the way into the fourth quarter. Sounds easy, but we know it's, <laughs> it's a hard. lot tougher. It's a hard game. <laughs> it's a lot tougher to get some W's in the NFL. Yeah. All right, let's see how Harris Goff do this weekend. Lions traveling to Pitt to take on those Steelers here in a Week 10 matchup. For TJ Lang, I'm Danny Rogers. That was the X Factor.